Okay, so my son has been after me for a while to do a grocery haul. I have never done one before. Um, so I will try and we'll see how it goes. So I just got home. I just unpacked some stuff here and there's gonna be dog noises in the background, sorry, because he wants to see if I left anything out in the bags. So the first thing I'm gonna do probably is just <laughs> clean this up. I like to use my reusable bags. And then I just throw them all back in. And then one of my son's chores is to zip that up for me. And um, we put that in the car so I have it for next time. This is what I have left from last week. I have some random veggies, a carrot, some onions and potatoes, which I'm gonna use up tomorrow um, for lunch. Tonight's dinner is also from last week's groceries. I had some pancetta and asparagus, and we're gonna, um, I actually thought about using the tomatoes and garlic to make a pasta sauce, but we'll make pizza sauce with these later in the week. They'll keep pretty well. They're still in really good shape. Um, but I was going to use the, uh, <laughs> I was going to say arugula, I was going to use the asparagus and pancetta with, where is it, the fettuccine for dinner tonight, and we're going to have pasta carbonara, because we saw that on Jamie Oliver's Fish Friday, he did a fish carbonara, and Sam loves it, so, okay. This cost $251.89. I think that's a lot of groceries. I think that's a lot of groceries for $250. Um, but let's go through it. And this is on last chance, which is really sad because we love these plant-based burgers. We like to do meat-free Fridays here. And um, these are a favorite, especially with these, which are a splurge, but man, they're so healthy. Um, and it's not that bad. I mean, it's cheaper than eating out. I was trying to eat plate method. And if you're not familiar with plate method, this is the plate method that I found on the Pickup Limes um, channel. I don't watch her channel for a lot of things, but she has some good nutritional videos. I'm not vegan. Um, but it applies. I mean, so vegetables and fruits should be half of what you eat on your plate. Grains and starches, which is whole grains, rice, bread, but it's also potatoes and couscous and um, sweet potatoes, things like that. And proteins, that's obvious, but it can also be dairies. You know, Greek yogurt is a protein. And then there's dairy by itself too, but I tend to leave dairy in the protein and fats. So I kind of have a little bit of a blending here but anyway so we're trying to be really healthy sleep eating well exercise even though I have a broken foot I can still exercise minimally um, but so I was watching Amy Fritz's YouTube channel and she was talking about um, fitness goals and she was saying that if you look at what you consume daily it can be overwhelming and she wasn't talking about this but it applies if you look at your plate each time, that's fine, but not every plate is the same. For example, today for lunch, I just had like hard boiled eggs and cashews. That's all protein and fats. There was no vegetables there. And I didn't want to beat myself up about it because I wasn't hungry. So I was like, well, I'll have veggies with dinner. I'll have a salad. So instead of looking at each plate, you can look at your day. And then I thought, Instead of just looking at the day, look at the shopping haul. Is this balanced? Okay, so you have stuff that you can't even factor in like this. There's some beer here that I got for tomorrow's Sunday. For my husband, I got some Guinness. For myself, I splurged. And I got some Trappist. So good. Um, for tonight, I'm going to have one of these. I love these non-alcoholic beer. Um, sorry, the dog is drinking water. 
anyway, just keep rolling. Um, I love these non-alcoholic beer with dinner or with pizza or whatever. These are really good. This is my favorite one. I cannot, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. You can just see what it is. But it's super good. You can see I have a bottle opener in my hand because as soon as I pause this video, I'm going to open this beer and drink it with my pasta carbonara. That's really good. So I have fruits and veggies are half. I have peppers, you know, eat the rainbow. I have peppers, zucchini, cucumbers, ginger, husband's request. These are beetroot, celery, avocado that are firm. And I'm going to put these in the fridge and I'm going to pull them out and ripen them one at a time. A bag full of apples. We already have some in the fridge, but I wanted to, we eat a lot of these. Um, the mandarins looked really, really good. I got, if you follow me on Instagram, I don't need lemons, but I love lemons and uh, my son loves lemons and I buy them. And the other day I had so many lemons, I couldn't stand to watch them go bad. So I made this beautiful and delicious lemon cake, um, from a recipe I found on the internet. And I bought more lemons, even though I still don't need them. So you know this is going to end up being a cake. And this is going to be a cake. And the beach are going to be a cake. So, but they're still vegetables. Um, mandarins. Lots of bananas because husband requested smoothies. I like to do a lot of baking of the cakes with honey. Particularly this honey. I really like this honey. And it's huge. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a huge jar. So I swap sugar for honey a lot. And then Sam is over peanut butter. So with his um, sandwiches, almond butter and honey with an apple. And he really likes, where is it? These cranberries with it too. Sometimes a banana. Sometimes, you know, cashews. Um, I feel like I'm skipping around. So the fettuccines for dinner tonight. We got these for, we have burgers, plant-based burgers. But I also have regular burgers too, so. This is ancient grain sourdough. It's like a hybrid sourdough. It's really, really good. And I like to throw that in the freezer for the days that I don't feel like making sourdough. Um, but I do have my sourdough starter out, fed and happy. This is parsley. This is one of the most nutritious herbs there are. So saith the herb growers. And so I put this on pretty much everything. Not too much, cause you know, it's a, I'm not going to say this right, it's a chelating herb, which means that if you eat too much, you're being cleansed of metals, but it also means that it chelates metals from the ground. So what that means is there's always going to be metals in chelating herbs also, so use them judiciously. Um, I grow tomatoes, and I have tomatoes in my freezer but I have run out of the big tomatoes that I freeze. So sometimes when I'm feeling really, really lazy and I wanna make a nice homemade pizza with a homemade sauce and sourdough crust, I will literally dump this whole can in a pot and I will just boil it down. And then I'll use a potato masher. I just throw a couple of cloves of garlic in it, use a potato masher, add some parsley and basil, it's so good. Don't forget to add a tablespoon of sugar and I don't feel guilty about saying that at all because it is so good. It's just a little. It won't hurt anybody. Um, olives. I love olives so much. Okay. This is where I know I can grow these myself, but again, I have a broken foot and I'm just trying to get my garden up and running and I'm running behind. So for this season of my life, I'm literally supporting another local farmer. And these are really good, and they stay fresh for the entire week. And we pretty much eat the whole thing, but if there's a few left over, the chickens, they love these. And then also this, again, I grow my own, but when I'm running low, this huge thing was like five bucks. Whoops, it's very heavy. It was like five bucks, so no guilt supporting other farmers. Same with this. I really like to have the big leaf lettuce. This is only like $3.99, which is actually really cheap for what it is. It's beautiful. These last a really long time. And I like to use these with the avocado 
on the sourdough. And then I'll mix some tuna with some horseradish and red onion. It's so good. And again, these little guys right here to toss on salad or in lunches. This is for baking cookies or pie crusts or whatever. And the feta cheese. This is so much cheaper. Look at how big this is. This is huge. It's a solid block of uncrumbled feta. I'm going to crumble it up and take the brine and use the brine to cook the chicken in. Or at least a little bit of the chicken in. I've read that's very good. And then this is for the pizza. I can make two pizzas. Probably I can make three pizzas with this. With that sweet Sicilian sauce and homemade crust. This is the milk we're drinking right now, and it does cost more, but it's 100% whole cream top milk. It's worth it. Use it in smoothies. It's really nutritious. It keeps the guys fuller longer, and it's worth it. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of natural stuff. Okay, this is our sweet treat. And the sugar content per serving is not bad. A third of a bar is a serving. Nobody here eats that much. We eat one square. A third of a bar is six squares. That is not bad at all. Four grams of sugar for a third of a bar. So we're not even getting a whole gram of sugar with a piece of chocolate. And it is so good. So that's our sweet treat or my water. Um, yes, so like I said, husband asked for smoothies, so I got two things of organic, um, I think this is whole fat, I'm not sure, or close to whole fat, organic, uh, plain Greek yogurt, blueberries, huge bag of blueberries, because also with the smoothies, so we do, this is a spring mix, it's like 50-50 spring mix and spinach, possibly some of these if we have these left over, some zucchini maybe, bananas, maybe some apple, blueberries, cinnamon, ginger, yogurt, milk, and um, I think that's all. Yeah, they're really good smoothies. Flaxseed, things like that. Oh, I'll put some almond butter in it. It's really good. So I got three of these. I got this for the pizza, unless it's a meat-free day, and then we just skip that, but husband likes that. I got these for lunches. Um, I have some really nice crackers up in the, on top of the fridge. And I was going to pack some of these and some cheese or hummus and veggies for my husband's lunches this week. He's got a lot of packable days this week. And Sam likes this too. It's very good. And I think it was on sale. I got three things of chicken, which were just under $6 each. And I like buying my chicken there because it comes from farms that are pretty nice. They're not gross. And the same with the bacon. I get the reduced sodium bacon, and I use this in the same way I use pancetta, or I will cook this in the oven, Nigella Lawson style, and then just throw pasta and Brussels sprouts in it. That's really good too. But I think this was a pretty good haul. That's a lot of food. I have to go chop some vegetables so that they're ready to eat whenever we want them. And I'm thinking about, I like to throw all the chicken in a roasting pot on some parchment paper and season them below olive oil, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, um, salt and pepper. And then I just cook it up and it tastes just like rotisserie chicken. I put a lid on it and I cook it at 425 for about a half an hour or until it looks done. And then we can have it to put in salad wraps or on the toast or just in a salad. So good. And some of the chicken is going to go in soup because I have carrots and potatoes left over. So that's going to be really good in soup. Um, yeah, we have a lot of food. So that was my very first grocery haul. Sorry about the shaky camera. I filmed it with my cell phone, but my son has really wanted me to do one of these <laughs> for a while. So, oh. Before I go, I will show you how Ethelbert's doing. This is my sourdough starter. It is so healthy. Can you even see it? Oh, it's so hard to get it on film. Ethelbert is about to turn two this summer. I fed her before we left. 
she smells really good. I have pan sitting on the stove because I was going to make these vegetables. But then I realized I don't want to go to the grocery store on a Sunday. So it is Saturday night at 7.30. We're really late for dinner, but he had a bagel in the car. And I'm going to make pancetta and we're going to watch Hidden Spring Farms YouTube channel because we like that channel. And eat our asparagus. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful or motivational or mildly interesting. And I hope you have a really nice weekend. Happy Easter. Okay. We've got the pancetta and onion, garlic, olive oil, and asparagus. We've got the pasta going over here. That's fettuccine. We've got Parmesan milk, fresh from the Coop Today eggs, and chives from the garden. This will be so good. I have to go put the chickens in, and then I'll plate this up. We have about five minutes left to cook. Semi-scrambled pasta carbonara. So it's basically bacon and egg spaghetti. Uh, but my family really likes it this way. some freshly grated parmesan and this is how my son will happily eat asparagus.